Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulik with 31 Triple Doppler. Plenty of clouds to go around on this Monday. Here's what we're looking at across the Tennessee Valley on our Way 31 Skycam network. Everyone seeing the cloud cover and the clouds will stick around through the rest of the day today. Some of us may even see a shower or two. Temperature wise, they're warming up from where we started this morning. 67 right now in Fort Payne, 70 degrees in Scottsboro, 72 degrees in Huntsville and Decatur. Already up to 74 in Muscle Shoals and temperatures are only going to continue to climb as we move through the next few hours. We'll top out in those lower 80s across Huntsville, 82 degrees to be exact. 78 degrees for your high in Gunnersville and Fort Payne, 79 in Decatur, 78 degrees in Muscle Shoals. So it will be a nice and warm day, but enjoy the nice warm temperatures because as that cold front moves through tomorrow, it will cool us off as we head into the end of the week. Now, 31 triple Doppler right now, quiet and dry, but we do still have that chance of a shower or two as we work through the next couple of hours here. And a wider view shows the clouds that are moving into the Tennessee Valley. And the rain that you see off towards Oklahoma, that is the start of our next storm system. Now it will produce severe weather to our west today and our chance of severe weather will come in tomorrow. That's why we have a 31 alert day in place for your Tuesday for that chance of damaging wind gusts and isolated tornadoes along that line as it moves through. Timing will be in the afternoon hours. We're looking at 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. tomorrow for all of North Alabama and Southern Tennessee. Here's the latest outlook from the Storm Prediction Center for that severe weather tomorrow. Now again, some of North Alabama has been upgraded to that level three risk. I do think the best chance of seeing tornadoes will be to our north, but I can't rule out a couple along that line as it moves through the area. So here's a zoomed in view of what we're looking at across the Tennessee Valley. The orange color is level three. The yellow is level too, but everyone has that chance of seeing strong to severe thunderstorms tomorrow. Let's go ahead and time it out for you. Show you what you'll see for the rest of the day today. This model showing a couple showers around, but for right now we are dry. We'll keep that shower chance in the forecast over the next couple of hours and heading into the overnight hours tonight. Cloud cover will continue. By the time you're headed out the door tomorrow morning, we may see a few light showers, but the main event comes in later on in the afternoon hours. Here we are at 3 p.m. with that line making its way into the shoals and continuing into the metro as we head towards five six o'clock tomorrow night as we head into seven eight o'clock it will be making its way into sand mountain and then by that time it's working out of the tennessee valley a few showers will be possible into the early morning hours on wednesday but the severe weather chances will be over by then here's what we're looking at as far as the threats are concerned strong wind gusts will be our main concern with this line as it moves through gusty winds as high as 60 miles per hour possible. We'll have to watch for some large hail and again the tornado threat not zero as this line moves through the area. So timing it out for you. The ones to see the storms first will be in the shoals from 2 to 5 p.m. is the earliest arrival time for these storms and then it'll move into the metro between 4 and 7 p.m. tomorrow evening and finally into Sand Mountain as we head into the evening hours tomorrow night 6 to 9 p.m. So make sure that you have multiple ways to get watches and warnings as we head through Tuesday. Now the good news is it will knock our pollen levels down for Tuesday but they are right back up as we head into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Your 10 day forecast breaks down like this that 31 alert day tomorrow after that cooling off as we head into the end of the week rain chances return as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week.